All right, guys, in this video, we're checking out the Dow Prop Fold F5 Prop. Obviously, you can see here's the folding 5 inch propeller. It's actually a 5.1 inch propeller. You assemble it yourself. So it comes in basically pieces like this. And then you get uh, two parts here to put it together. Basically, you sandwich the blades. And they do um, obviously rotate so you can fold it. I did find that there's various levels of, of uh, give in the way the prop moves. You can see this one's very loose here, and then this one here doesn't quite move as much. So the levels of, uh, I guess, tension or friction in the, in the hub of the prop here varies, which did concern me a little bit in terms of the prop unfolding. So I did uh, fly that. I did try you know, a few different kinds of takeoffs. And I would recommend um, uh, when you're going to take off, don't like do like a really gentle takeoff where you're not allowing the props to unfold, but give it a pretty good burst of throttle. I mean, don't go full throttle, obviously, that's not really necessary, but uh, don't like just creep up on the throttle, just like ever so slow. If you do that, it will flip over. I, I can get that to happen. Because uh, some of these don't, some of these blades don't come out if you uh, don't raise the uh, RPMs fast enough. So just something to keep in mind because of the friction here, and the where the hub uh, actually the blade is joined here. So they may, I mean, this is obviously an early, uh, it's an early prototype, or not a prototype, but an early production sample here that I've got. So obviously later on this might be improved, but I thought this was sort of an issue. In terms of putting it together, it's not difficult. Um, in terms of durability and replacing the blades, you can do it. These, you can take these apart, but they're not easy to take apart. So once you um, put this together, and there is a there's a certain way to do it um, in terms of the mounting of the, of the blade on the, um, the motor, the, the label has to be facing up, and that's because these are also Popo uh, compatible. So if you have one of those uh, motors, and this little uh, where the little ball bearing is it needs to be up here, and so if you put it on the bottom, that's obviously not going to work. It's not going to mount. Now, if you don't have those um, particular uh, uh, pro um, motors, the Popo motors, so have standard motors with, with lock nuts, you can go either way. It doesn't matter. I've actually flipped it over on one of these to test it. I think it's these in the front. No issues in terms of uh, the, the prop coming off or anything like that. You can, so if you have a standard motor, you could probably go either way. But if you have a popo motor, you're gonna. There's only one we can do it. You have to have the uh, letters on top. So when you put the blades in, of course, they have to be in the correct orientation when you assemble it. And then you just uh, put the blades in and you press down. And you do have to snap them all the way down. Um, you don't want any gaps or anything in there, as you can see. And uh, you can, like, say later you do crash and you break a blade, um, you can stick a screwdriver in here and pry it open and swap the blade out. So that is one of the advantages of the floating folding prop is that you can swap one blade instead of uh, all. Obviously, if you break a prop uh, with a standard prop, that you know, all that's a replace the whole thing. Um, but you can do that, but it isn't easy. So I got it. It is quite challenging to get the these things separate. So hopefully in a, in a future version it'll make it so that it's a little bit easier to swap the blades out. But if you're interested in, uh, you, know, you know, maybe having that feature and using that function, you can do that. So in terms of the blade itself, this is what it looks like. It, nothing particularly special. It's got a nice curved end here. Uh, pretty, it's not pretty noisy. It's like actually it's not like super quiet either, but Surprisingly less noisy than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, it just, I mean, uh, overall the, the shape of the blade looks really nice. I think that um, this is probably going to be better for I, I, what is this uh, here? This this actually this actually this, this prop actually works out really well on this setup here. This is a Velox uh, 23. What is this? A 2306 and a half motor, I believe, and 2550 kV. And I had a different prop on this motor before, and it had some vibrations and stuff. But uh, when I put this prop on, uh, this uh, setup actually worked out really well, and I didn't have to do any tuning changes. So 
I think it's a standard uh, Betaflight Ford one with default pins, I believe, and RPM filter. So, um, yeah, in terms of like, I didn't find any un unbalancing issues or anything like that. So, it didn't seem like that was a problem. It actually seemed as good as a normal prop or even better. It actually was better than the other prop that I had in before, which is standard prop. Um, in terms of durability, that's hard to say. I didn't do any crash testing or anything like that. It does feel like it's stiff enough um, with a little bit of give but obviously you know the weak point is down here in the hub and you crash uh, pretty hard that might snap there of course you know one of the advantages of the folding prop is if you do happen to hit a tree or something it, instead of the prop just snapping if you happen to hit it in this direction it'll just fold and it will get out of the way of course if you hit it in this direction here like this, and then of course the blade will snap. So it really kind of depends on the crash you're getting and which direction the force is. So again, your mileage may vary. Uh, to, to do true crash testing durability testing, you're gonna have to probably get a lot of these and crash test a lot, but I didn't really feel like doing that because I didn't think that, that the durability is gonna be that much different because I think in, in a lot of ways you can have more of an advantage if you, if you crash in this fashion here you're going in this direction and obviously for any prop in this direction here it doesn't matter the blade's going to snap so i think for durability in certain type of crashes you're going to have an advantage for the folding prop this is my opinion on that all right so this is what the prop weighs obviously assembled coming at 4.2 grams so it's not too bad and you guys are wondering what the individual blades weigh it's uh, about 0.8 grams. Anyway, so overall I was kind of skeptical about this prop. I think a lot of people were at the beginning. But after flying it, I you know feel actually pretty confident that this is going to be a good prop for a lot of situations. And in fact, I'm going to try and get more of these if I can and put them on uh, all the 5-inch quads I have. Because um, the fact that you can fold it down, the profile of these quads goes way down. You can stick it in a bag. Um, you'd, Obviously, you could take the props off and stick these quads in a bag, but you know who wants to take four props off every time you want to go, you know, switch locations or travel? Um, this obviously is way more convenient because you know, the props fold down. You can just stick it into a smaller space and not have to take the props off. So I'm going to leave you with the flight footage along with my narration of the flight, uh, give you guys a sense of what this sounds like and how it performs. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Alright, so nothing unusual with these props on takeoff. Sound just like normal props. They sound totally normal to me. Actually, this uh, quad sounds better tune wise on these props than on the uh, other props I had in here before I think they're uh, I think they're the gym fans 51 466 I think all right yeah they sound fine pretty, pretty good power they sound totally like a normal prop So kind of expecting them to flutter. But they're not doing what I expected them to do. And they aren't exploding. So I am trying to keep it close so you guys can hear the props. Uh, some people are like, oh, why aren't you like exploring and stuff? Well, I think the whole point of this video is so you can hear the props. Uh, very little prop wash, even on the split S.
power loop. Very smooth. Yeah. Totally sounds normal to me. It's not actually pretty damn good, actually. Power is a little bit less than the previous prop I had on here. It's a tad bit. But doesn't doesn't feel like they're not responsive. Feels responsive. I feel like I have pretty decent control. Yeah, very little prop wash. Overall handling is nice. Really can't complain much about these, especially considering how much you, uh, space you can save on uh, folding up the props. This might be uh, the way to go. If you're not looking for absolute, absolute best performance. Enter the battery here. Yeah. I like it. It's not bad, not bad. I think I'll be, I think I'll try this on um, something cinematic with a GoPro and see if there's any um, the jello from the uh, they're unbalanced or whatever. Maybe that'll come up in a future video. Let me know what you guys think.